Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for uh, Cancer. This is going to be for December 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. We're just going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So tell me about uh, Cancer. Cancer. How is Cancer's spiritual journey going? How is Cancer's spiritual journey going for December 2023? For Cancer. For Cancer. How is Cancer's spiritual journey going? How is Cancer's spiritual journey going? All right. We have the Two of Swords here and the King of Swords here. So I feel like you're sort of at a crossroads here. I feel like you're really confused, really indecisive at this time. I do feel like you have some decisions to make here or that, you know, there's a lack of clarity or that there's a lack of vision here moving towards your spiritual journey at this time here. You know, I do feel like you're seeking some sort of balance here, some sort of harmony. Okay. You know, one of the first things about, you know, seeking some sort of spiritual enlightenment is about moving forward and letting go of the past, letting go of things that are no longer serving you. So one of the things I'm getting is I feel like maybe with the Six of Cups here and the Lovers here, maybe you're having a hard time letting go of the past. Maybe you're having a hard time letting go of past relationships or something like that. You know, that really kind of keeps you back. You hold you back from where you're meant to be in life. So I, I feel like it's really important to keep that in mind, Cancer, okay? We have the Ten of Swords here and the Three of Cups. You know, Cancer, I feel like you've been hurt a lot by romantic relationships with friendships and stuff like that. And I feel like at this point, I feel like you're trying to figure out what to do, okay, with these, in these individuals here. I do feel like, you know, you're realizing that, you know, perhaps the happiness that you're seeking is not from the outside, but is from within. So I feel like you're trying to find that within yourself. I do feel like, you know, this cycle that you've been going through or these cycles that you've been going through, I do feel like it's going to come to an end here. I do feel like you're making some big changes, some make big life changing decisions here that has everything to do with you, but nothing with the people that's outside of you here. Okay. So I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that cancer, you could be forming a strong bond, a strong relationship with yourself at this time here. So I'm in the six of cups. So I have the six of cups here and the 10 of wands, the lovers here. And the Knight of Swords here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that Cancer, moving forward, I feel like you're going to be stronger than you ever were before. You're definitely re releasing a lot of things from the past here. You know, especially if someone here is coming back in for uh, towards you, trying to communicate with you. I just feel like you're just going to let this individual or let these individuals go. Tell me the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords here and the Hangman. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Three of Cups and the uh, Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Art of letting go. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're really achieving that at this time here. You know, I feel like you're definitely seeking a lot of answers uh, in moving towards your spiritual enlightenment and your dreams here. So some of you guys are having some deep, really deep, profound dreams. Okay. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know, look out for, work on here? for December 2023 when it comes to their spiritual journey for December 2023 for Cancer for Cancer. <clears throat> okay, we have the Tower here and the Hermit. So Cancer, everything is going to change. Nothing is going to be the same again. And I feel like you're the driving force of this change here. This is the this is a much needed change that you're looking for here. Because I feel like a lot, you know, in the past, you might have been very reliant on, the, on other people for your happiness here. And I feel like you're realizing that you're looking for this with, from within. King of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands here. So what we have here is I feel like you're choosing to move forward here. Okay. 
I feel like you're choosing to move forward here. And I feel like you're going into this very, like, grounded, you know, very uh, stable here, okay? I feel like you're, you know, I feel like, you know, it might not have been stable for a while because of the major upheaval that you're going through, especially with the tower moment that's coming in for you. I do feel like it's a major shakeup in your life here that you need it. Uh, because I feel like you needed to learn some lessons, you need to release, you needed to let go here. But I do feel like you're definitely going through some sort of spiritual transformation here. Uh, a, a bit of a transitional period here. I feel like you're making some big plans for yourself. And I feel like you do want to achieve those plans here for yourself. Okay? So uh, tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Tell me about the tower. The Tower and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Hermit here. Why is the Hermit here? And the Knight of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. So one of the things I'm getting here is like, I feel like you're ready to go. Yeah, I feel like you're just ready and all fired up for this new beginning that's about to happen here for you. You know, I feel like you're learning a lot too. I, I feel like a lot of you guys are also connecting and learning about uh, learning a lot about your inner child here and healing the inner child. Because I do feel like... Uh, the, the the reliance on other people's happiness, uh, I, I do feel like it's a learned behavior from your childhood here. Some sort of indoctrination, some sort of trauma here, okay? King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. How about the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You guys are definitely receiving a lot of messages here from people here too. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're learning not to force things to happen here, especially with friends, especially in romantic relationships with family members and stuff like that. And I feel like you're learning that, you know, if people want to stay in your life, they will stay. You know what I mean? You know, I feel like you don't have to put like a, a, an absorbent amount of effort to make something work, to force something to, to work. So I feel like you're learning something about that too. The Page of Pentacles here and uh, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Death card here. Why is the Death card here? The Death card and the Three of Cups. And we have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands here. We have the king to the queen of swords. Some of you guys could be ending a relationship here too. Finally. Finally, maybe it's a, it's a, you're, you're, you're finally ending maybe an un, a unhealthy relationship that you've been in here. And I feel like you're just ready to learn your lessons and grow and evolve here. You know, I just feel like you're just really focusing on your healing here. Focusing on a kind of like an optimistic and a hopeful future here, you know. So, you know, I do feel like right now in this very moment, you know, moving or, and moving forward that you guys are really connected to the divine and the universe and really connecting with your higher self here. Okay. Uh, whoever this queen of swords is, you know, I feel like you ended things with this person or that you will end things with this person here in order for you to find some sort of peace of mind here. You know, I do feel like a lot of guys are de definitely trying to find yourselves, definitely find your identity here because they feel like it's been you know, kind of masked by, you know, other people, you know, being in around your life here, you know? So I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys are definitely, like, kind of, like, really stepping into yourself and stepping into your power at this time here. Um, so I just feel like you're just focusing on healing, focusing on your own, ha own happiness, focusing on just, you know, trusting your inner voice here, um, uh, your, uh, your inner truth. So, uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.